Hello everyone, welcome back to Nursing Guru. Myself, Dr. Lata. Today we are dealing with a very important topic which helps in our day-to-day -day practices that is blood and its components. Let's get started. Today we are dealing with a very important topic of our life and it is a main component of our body that is blood and circulatory system. Today we are dealing mainly the three most components that is blood, its definition, reticular endothelial system, components of the blood and functions. Let's get started. Coming to blood, what is the definition of the blood? Blood is a connective tissue in the liquid form. What are the properties of the blood? It has color, volume reaction ph viscosity and specific gravity color color is mainly red in color due to predominant content of pigment called hemoglobin volume there are mainly 5 liters of blood in the body viscosity 5 times more viscous than the water specific gravity 1.52 to 1.61 is the specific gravity reaction and ph it is alkaline in nature and pH is 7.5. Now get into the components of the blood. Blood is mainly divided into two components that is cellular part and the plasma. These cellular parts are again divided into RBCs, WBCs and the platelet. Now get into the cellular components of the blood. Components of the blood are divided into two parts that is cellular components and the plasma. Now again these cellular components are divided into three parts that are RBCs, WBCs and platelet. Now get into deep into the topics. First one is RBCs. As the word indicates RBC nothing but red blood cells are also called as erythrocyte. These are the most abundant cells in the blood. They mainly constitute of 45% of the blood. Let's see what is PCV, packed cell volume. This is the volume of the red blood cell expressed in the percentage form. There is totally 45% of the red blood cell. Lifespan of RBCs are 120 days. Total count is 4.5 million to 5.5. Red blood cells are mainly predominantly red in color due to the pigment called hemoglobin present in the blood. The two types of hemoglobin, those are adult hemoglobin and the fetal hemoglobin. Fetal hemoglobin changes to adult hemoglobin soon after birth and takes 10 to 12 weeks after the birth. Functions of RBCs, that is red blood cells. The three main functions of the RBCs, one is transport of respiratory gases, buffer mechanism and blood group determination. Transport of respiratory gases that are oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged through the blood. Buffer mechanism helps in the acid base balance. Third one is blood group determination that helps in determination of A, B, AB and O positive blood. Erythropoiesis, it is a process by which matured RBCs are formed from stem cell erythropoietic cells. Second component of cellular blood WBC white blood cells are also called as leukocytes. The word indicates white because that is colorless and is colorless cells of the blood. The total count of WBC are 4000 to 11000 cells per cubic mm of blood. Lifespan is 12 to 20 days. WBC are again categorized into two parts. Those are granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes are the one which contains granules in them and agranulocytes are the one that doesn't contain granules in them. These granulocytes are again categorized into two, three parts. Those are neutrophils eosinophils and basophils. These granulocytes are lymphocytes and monocytes. Lymphocytes again categorized into B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes helps for immunity. Functions of WBC, phagocytosis, body defense and formation of fibroblast. Phagocytosis, it is a process of engulfing the bacteria and helps in immune response. Second one is body defense. Antigen and antibody reaction takes place due to the WBC cells and helps in body defense. Third one is formation of fibroblast. Fibroblast formation helps in repair and rejuvenation of the wound tissue. Third component of the cellular blood is platelet or also called as thrombocytes. Thrombocytes are the small cells of the blood contains of plasma membrane. Lifespan is 5 to 9 days. Total count is 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs. Functions of platelet. Thrombosis, 
hemostasis and hondeli let's get into deeply what are this hemostasis it is a process of cessation or stoppage of the blood bleeding time bleeding time is a time taken for the overflow of the blood during an injury normal bleeding time is 2 to 7 minutes stages of hemostasis vasoconstriction platelet plug formation and coagulation formation what is vasoconstriction? Whenever the blood cell is damaged, endothelium is damaged and blood vessels contract and constrict and for helps in further stoppage of blood. Second one is platelet plug formation. Platelet adhere to the endothelium and forms in the platelet plug formation helps in further overflow of the blood. Third one is coagulation formation. In this process, Coagulation cascade is activated which helps in conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin and finally helps in stoppage of blood. Second function of the platelet is thrombosis. Thrombosis is clotting of the blood. There are 13 clotting factors which helps in the clotting of the blood. The mainly includes two pathways. One is intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway. Intrinsic pathway is a spontaneous pathway which is activated when there is an internal injury. Extrinsic pathway which is activated when there is an external trauma. Coming to the reticuloendothelial system, this is a system which is activated from the cells of monocytes, helps in the phagocytosis of the bacteria, in turn helps in body defense. Lastly, which is very important topic of the blood is blood grouping. There are mainly four blood, four blood grouping in the blood system that is A, B, AB and O. Again, these are categorized into A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive and O negative according to the presence of Rh factor on the blood. AB positive is called universal receiver and O positive is called universal donor. So far we have discussed about the blood from starting from blood to the blood grouping. If you have any doubt regarding the topic, comment below. Thank you for watching the video. Keep watching Nursing Guru for further updates.